Well, speaking of our website, digital anchor Rachel Ramsey joins us now from the NBC4i Digital Center with a look at the stories making headlines online this morning. Hi, Rachel. Hey, good morning, Jennifer. Trending online, a revised version of a proposed six-story apartment complex in the University District is still too big to win the approval of a review board. Now, plans were presented Monday for a student apartment complex on East 16th and Waldeck Avenues on the site of Summit United Methodist Church. With a significant cut to square footage and fewer stories, members of the University Impact District Review Board acknowledged the changes made since proposing the project in July. But despite those new plans, developers did not receive approval from the board to move forward. The board still remained concerned that allowing of zoning variants for the building would set a bad example. You can read more on the project on NBC4i.com. Also trending, those wanting a slice of pizza in the Columbus area are met with many options, but which pizzeria is the best? Here's a list of the highest rated pizza spots in Columbus, according to Yelp. Now in the top spot is Tyler's Pizzeria and Bakery. It's located on East Main Street in Reynoldsburg. Coming in second place is Pie of the Tiger on North High Street in the Short North. And the third highest rated pizzeria in Columbus is Baysmore Pizza, located on Riverside Drive in Upper Arlington. Of course, for that full list, you can just go to our website. And a popular Christmas icon making its return to spread holiday joy, Mr. Tree the Talking Tree, originally featured at the downtown Lazarus department store, has undergone some changes to entertain a new generation after, after being missing for dozens of years. The honor of returning this historic holiday symbol to Central Ohio fell into the hands of local artist Todd Reed. Now, the original Mr. Tree was created by Columbus art legend Gordon Keith, who died in 2015. Mr. Tree will appear next to the outside nativity located at St. Joseph's Catholic Cathedral on East Broad Street at 7 o'clock Sunday night. I love to see that come back, but to be completely honest, Jen, I didn't even know Mr. Tree was a thing until yesterday. Yeah, so. that's what's so crazy is how long ago this was like a tradition. Um, yeah. So I think for a lot of folks, it will be nostalgic. And yes. then maybe for their kids and grandkids, it'll be a new tradition or something yes. to look forward to. Definitely something to check out. Absolutely. All right, Rachel, thank you. And of course, for the latest news, sports and weather 24-7, make sure you visit NBC4i.com. You can also stay connected on the go with our free NBC4 News app. If you don't have it yet, download it today from the Apple or Google Play stores.